Good morning everybody. This is Rajni from Sashak ESS Learning Center. Today we're going to talk about executive functioning skill development. Uh, basically, what is executive functioning skill development? In simpler terms, it means the ability to problem solve. Now, uh, why is it important? Basically, it is considered as one of the core deficits when it comes to autism. Uh, now, why do we call it a deficit? I mean, I've always been um, a little rebel in that, that I will not like to call something as a deficit, rather a challenge is a better word that we can work around. But why is it called a deficit? Let's look at it that way first. Because most of our children are, uh, when not intervened, when intervention not given, they will find it difficult to do something uh, or to apply their thinking skills or to think about it that, okay, how can I get what I want? Okay, so it's basically problem solving. Okay, I need this. Now I'm stuck. So I'm just sitting or I'm throwing a fit and doing a tantrum and I'm not uh, going the right way. Now, on a very commonsensical note, why will a child have a deficit in executive functioning or in problem solving? So the answer to this is because there are deficits in the other areas. There's deficit in language. He's not able to express. There's deficit in logical, uh, you know, thinking because that has not been, uh, you know, developed on its own. So if you actually look at it, it boils down to just one thing, one core thing, which is lack of incidental learning. When the child was very young, the gap started to surface. There's this neurotypical and neurodiverse kid. The neurotypical kept learning on his own from his environment, looking around things, capturing the stimulus out of 20 things he's seeing. He's got 20 different ideas. Uh, you know, he's looking at the size, about dimensions, he's discriminating visually and everything. A neurodiverse child, on the other hand, is kind of in his own world. Last, not grounded. And so the incidental learning from early age, you can see, if, even if it's growing, you can see the gap. And so what happens is that the language also starts to show a deficit. There is a gap. Similarly, so there is a gap when it comes to problem solving or thinking logically, putting things together. So as a parent, what I need to do? First, I have to up the incidental learning. I mean, incidental learning happens on its own. So I have to up the learning. So like in my previous videos, I've said, talk a lot, show them things, take them around, get them more grounded, get them to be connected with this environment that will help in reducing the tantrums number one because uh, the child will be uh, connected then a uh, lot of language like in various videos that i've said you can provide the language to the kid followed by executive functioning skill development which means don't do everything for the kid when you are providing the stimulus in various ways and the brain is beginning to raise and put things together and you are helping them ask questions, there are videos on how to ask questions, so please refer to those. So you are helping them to figure out things, to put two and two together, to ask questions and then you stop making it very easy for the kid. Okay, like I always like to say, love is love when it is enabling. A love which is not enabling is not love. There is, I mean, what's the good of providing so much protection and security today that tomorrow he does not know how to handle the insecurities of life so we have to provide that strong foundation rather than providing love which is um, going to disempower him in the future if he has to or she has to stand up and say Ab kya karu? I don't know and mummy is not around then we have done a disfavor to this kid. So rather than that, what we what we have to do is they have to get their brain thinking that, okay, what can I do? So this process has to start way early. So it has to start from a very young kid where the kid is, uh, you know, you create situations. Like I always like to say, your house is your lab uh, laboratory, okay, where you can do controlled experiments with the child, where you know the harm will not happen because you are there to damage control. But when life will give them situations, that is uncontrolled. So if they're not ready there, it's a wipeout. And we don't want that. So what you can do is, maybe for your kid, it could be going down the lift two floors. Or maybe it could be going up the lift to the house without you. And you having the fear, what if he 
crosses and goes to another floor and gets lost where will i find him so you have to plan that beforehand and say suppose something like this happens where could he go how many floors are there how will i find him and then you you know you give him the flash card and say this is number 3 we have to go go on your own give them the opportunity so it will give you double benefit benefit number 1 the child will exercise his thinking skills will be in the now he will not be like that little puppy who's in your arms and you're taking one place and you're taking another place and the puppy doesn't know what happened so he's got to be in the driver's seat he's got to know okay what i have to do and second it will build his confidence every victory will give him confidence for the next level so it's important to build a kids executive functioning skills uh, small small examples that i get to see every day at my center the uh, the door is slightly heavy not able the kid is not able to open so the mother is jumping immediately you know out of her love is to lag jayega main khol deti hu are nahi lagta wait let him try another kid who's trying to sharpen his pencil and uh, you know is not getting it so the mother just snatches it from the hand wait you're wasting time yes he's wasting you know his 60 minutes may say maybe 1 minute or 1 and a half minutes but when he's sharpening the pencil he's getting a skill on his own and the confidence that he can do it on his own so the next time this kid will simply sit there wait for his mother to sharpen and give it to him because deep down he believes that he cannot his last time he couldn't do it and mother had to do it and the mother believes that he cannot because she didn't give him a chance and he couldn't do it and now she believes oh he will not be able to let me do it so it's a vicious circle every day i get a lot of calls from parents from across the country some of the calls when i take and they say oh we cannot come for this training program you know i cannot come because i have never traveled to any place all by myself and my husband will not get an off to bring me to that place so i cannot come okay visavi another call that i will get will say oh okay uh, yeah i'll figure that out i'm traveling so what i'll do is i'll manage something i'll send somebody there i'll do this i'll do that i'll immediately reach i'll miss the introduction but i'll be there by around 10 so that i can have the entire thing and then i'll rush i'll not go for lunch think about the executive functioning skills of both these people and they're not autistic but think about the level of victory that person a would have in life visavi person b because our problem solving skills are in place so if you find your kid trying to open a screw driver with with the knife it's something to rejoice because his brain is working that uh, not not a screw driver i'm sorry trying to open a nut without a screw driver with a knife it's something to rejoice because the child is using his or her brain so give them enough opportunities like the young ones also at their level today i was talking to another parent on an online class and i was explaining her the importance and why she should start early with her kid and i thought not only her this is something which should go to everybody that you know start working on executive skill development executive functioning skill development for your kid it is really really very important because the more your child will be able to handle things on their own the more they will be confident and the more they will use their skills so if the people who say wow your son is traveling alone you know for a program yes he is because before traveling alone in a controlled environment he is already traveled which to him was kind of alone i was only there backing him so small small things also taken care of how much time can i spend here if i spend too much time here am i going to miss my bus or my flight or my something you know small small things like who do i ask for help now i'm stuck which way do i go right or left whom do i ask how do i find out how do i coordinate so and then these skills taken back slowly 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 to the place where you know he was much younger and then we made him come to us in the mall on the second floor to a shop on his own by parking his cycle uh, of course he was on the phone but before that the skill developed to be talking on the phone so executive functioning skill one thing will be built on the other okay so one fine morning we wake up and we say now i'm going to teach him all the skills to be independent but when it comes to you know going down the lift or when it comes to going in a dark room and switching on the light and trying to find and he doesn't know or it comes to his uh, body awareness and and taking a bath on his own or her own and they don't know then it's a far cry because not only is the skill not there the confidence to carry out is also not there that also gets depleted every time we help 
so help sparingly don't help so much help only when you feel now there's no possibility and most of the times when you begin to practice this you will realize it is not the kid it is you it is your fear so when you go to a picture hall you know you go to a multiplex you don't have to hold his hand and take him to the toilet nobody will kidnap him from inside the picture hall and take him and run away and if you're so scared leave your two scenes but go behind but don't go with him please let him go on his own yeah go behind keep checking uh, keep hiding to a side don't most of the time for our convenience what we do picture miss ho jayegi itna isme 20 minute jayega haath pakdo le jao karao wapas lao we don't do it mindfully aaj ka 20 minute lagaya hua is going to help you in the future so be mindful in any and everything don't go too close to the gas you will burn yourself why you stay next to him let him go close to the gas if he is interested in cooking how will he learn if he doesn't go too close to the knife so the point here is build executive functioning skills get them into situation that what you going to do now you're stuck like for example suppose he misses his bus or something happens what are you going to do now now you're there to support but don't do it on your own let the kid do it because if you will do it on your own the kid will not learn so on that note start building whatever level of executive functioning your kid is at start building it is just as important as academics maybe even more important someone like a dhirubhai ambani had fantastic executive functioning skills and zero uh, you know academics like after 10th also like we've seen in the movie guru he failed in 10th but look very reached similarly so for everybody else those who are big time people and their college dropouts so we know that executive functioning skills can take them places what we need to do is build on that skill not build on academics at the expense of executive functioning skills no that will not take them anywhere so on that note thank you so much have a powerful day start thinking start innovating in your heads what is it in which i can give responsibility to my child that he will do it or she will do it. and then at their level start giving that responsibility start trusting in god start trusting in your kid that he will be able to do it or she will be able to do it and you will see magic yeah thank you bye